Hi guys, welcome back. I'm here with another little video today and I did, I don't know if you're able to see it, a little TJ Maxx haul. I went to TJ Maxx last week sometime and I thought I'd show you guys what I bought. Um, so we'll just start with the most exciting thing. Pat McGrath. They have freaking Pat McGrath palettes. And this puppy was only $34.99. I don't know how much this goes for, but I know that her palettes are ridiculously expensive. I think they range between like 50 and like 130 or something like that. So this I thought would be mm, something to, in, to invest, not invest, but to buy. But this is her Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana Artistry Palette. So I just want to dive in. Now usually her packaging, they come in like They come in these cardboard flap, like it's a flap and then there's like string holding it all together. It's like super fancy, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's cardboard packaging with the embossment of PM on the front. Um, just look how pretty that is. And then inside, oh, oh, there's like little strings, so I can't even like bend it back. But though, that's some really pretty eyeshadows. I could definitely get a lot of use out of this palette because it has a lot of, um, neutrals and stuff so I'm just gonna swatch a couple this one right here is really calling my name so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that that's kind of like I see bronze I see silver, white, it, I don't even know how to explain what this color is, but it's really pretty. Okay, next, it's like a deep bronze. This one. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty too. Different. You can tell that they're different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, this is more sparkly and this is more of like a she satin sheen. She has different formulas in, in her palettes. This is beautiful. I'm quite pleased. I have a little makeup wipe where I can wipe my fingers off. Um, do I want to swatch the blue? I did say I was trying to get out of my comfort zone. <laughs> She's pretty. It's got, it's got a purple shift to it. I can't believe that this was at freaking TJ Maxx. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even show you. I'm just so excited about the palette. I completely was like, let me just, wow. Holy crap. This whole palette. Oh my goodness, where am I going to swatch you? 
I can't wait to use this powder. It even has like, like these three tones right here too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a good swatch out of them though. This whole palette. You see it? Okay, for $34.99, oh my god, this one is like stunning. Do you see that? It looks wet. This color. OMG. This seems more again. This one. So this one, very light in color. This whole palette, like I'm not too worried about the mattes because you can always work with them. I think it's funny that there's like a random green in here and everything else is like purpley pinks and blues. <laughs> okay. This palette, holy moly, run to your TJ Maxx. Don't run, I mean, don't walk, run. Get this freaking palette because it is beautiful. Okay, next. So that was the most exciting thing and I don't think anything is gonna stand up to this palette. I should have, I should have saved the best for last and I didn't because I was so excited. That's kind of sad. So I did find, a random Pat McGrath eyeshadow in the color, and it was only $7.99, in the color um, Sextrovert. Interesting name. Let's uh, pop this open and see. I kind of find it funny, like, I don't know about you guys, but I just find it funny that they have these eyeshadows it's a very you know pat mcgrath you find at sephora and they put eyeshadows and stuff like look at that it's stuck it's stuck to the like i have to scrape it off anyways i find it funny that they put their eyeshadows in something like this i mean it's fun but it's not at all um, it's not at all like great and like that's a lot of glitter or whatever you want to call it and I'm clumsy and if I dropped this that would be the end that would be the end of me so I don't know I mean a ASMR maybe but that's not very helpful packaging all right so upon first look it's just kind of like a bronzy gold color and everybody knows that i love bronzy golds they're my favorite i don't even know if you guys can see It. It's kind of, it doesn't feel super soft. And then it's just your deep bronze color. I've been trying to find a dupe for the color Smog from Urban Decay because that was literally my favorite color. I even went on their Instagram and message them and ask them to bring back smog because it's my, oh, it's just stunning. It's like a unique bronzy gold color that I have not been able to find. Okay, speaking of Urban Decay, the next thing that I found at TJ Maxx was this Urban Decay Vice lipstick. I think it's a lipstick. Plumping Shine Balm. And I got it for $6.99. And um, I don't know, I just wanted to 
give it a try. They didn't really have many colors to choose from and half the, oh, half the packaging, half of the packagings that were hanging up were open or ripped open and, you know, because people will just go in and try things out. Okay, so it looks very, yeah, it's just a see, a see-through balm with maybe a little bit of shimmer, not much color. It's kind of peachy. It's probably gonna burn my lips off. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, we're good. And then I also found something called the Organic Skin Company in the spotlight. And it says filled with organic, organic, oh my God. Organic calendula and pomegranate super critical extracts. Our luminizer puts you in the spotlight. So I guess it's a, a luminizer. Oh, well you're cute. Oh, pretty. A little bamboo cover. And then that's that looks like how much you want to bet that it's been swatched yep so somebody's swatched it you can see their fingerprints in it why do people have to do that just look at it don't touch it it's so mean so i will swatch it but i'm not going to use it i'll spray it with um alcohol spray first that's that's people are terrible Okay, so once you put your finger in it, it kind of warms up to this balmy type consistency. I'm running out of space. So I'll put it over here. So I guess you can just like apply this to anywhere you want some kind of um, glow to your face. I don't know. I thought that it would be interesting to try because I had never seen it before and it was only $4.99 so I didn't think I was gonna lose money out on this. I should have should have looked at it before I bought it but what can you do? You can't stop people from opening packaging. And I made sure nobody swatched that palette though. So yeah you just put it in your desired areas under or over your makeup and it's Highlight, brighten, and prime. So, you know. And then, as you all know, I love IT Cosmetics and I love their face cream, their confidence in a cream. And they had these sitting around and I'm like, wait, what? And they're, I mean, this was $12.99, but it's like so good for traveling. Look at this, it's so cute. So tiny it is. So cute. So, so yeah, that's it, you guys. That's all I got in my little haul. If any, if you get, if you take anything out of this video, if you've learned anything from this video, it's go for the palette. Go for the palette. <laughs> all right, you guys. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.